Hello everyone, welcome to our brand new channel called Dunian. In this channel, we will be exploring and touring some of the most interesting places from all over the world using Microsoft Fight Simulator. If you like what I'm doing, do like the video and subscribe to my channel. In today's video, we will be exploring some of the world's largest asteroid crater. One of it is the Vredefort Crater. It is located in the present-day Free State Province of South Africa. The crater is named after the town of Vredefort, which is near its center. It is the largest verified impact structure on Earth, which stands around 180 to 300 kilometers across when it was formed during the Paleoproterozoic era around 2 billion years ago, of which the crater has since eroded away due to erosion and plate tectonics. The structure was formed by a 20 to 25 kilometers in diameter asteroid. The impact structure is one of the few multiple ring impact structures on Earth, although they are more common elsewhere in the solar system. The best known example is Valhalla Crater on planet Jupiter's moon Callisto. The second crater in our list is the Chicxulub Crater. It is found underneath the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico where the center of the crater is offshore near the community of Chicxulub. It was formed slightly over 66 million years ago when a large asteroid about 10 kilometers in diameter struck Earth at an estimated of 20 kilometers per second. Bear in mind, the size of the asteroid is taller than Earth's tallest mountain, Mount Everest. This impact formed a crater of 180 kilometers in diameter and 20 kilometers in depth, and is recognized to be the second largest confirmed impact structure on Earth. The impact spewed hundreds of billions of tons of sulfur into the atmosphere which produced a worldwide blackout and freezing temperatures, which persisted for at least a decade. It is now widely accepted that this was the cause of the Cretaceous Pelagian extinction event which wiped out 75% of plant and animal species on Earth, including all non-avian dinosaurs. In simple terms, this asteroid wiped out the dinosaurs. Next in our list is the Sudbury Basin. This geological structure is found in Ontario, Canada. The crater is 130 km in diameter. Formed 1.849 billion years ago in the Paleoproterozoic era by a 10 to 15 km diameter asteroid. It is the third largest known impact crater on Earth. Due to the high mineral content of its soil, the floor of the basin is among the best agricultural land in Northern Ontario, with numerous vegetable, berry and dairy farms located in the valley. However, because of its northern latitude, it is not as productive as agricultural land in the southern portion of the province. Another fact to note, during the Apollo missions in the late 1960s, NASA used the site to train the Apollo astronauts to recognize rock form as a result of a very large impact. These include Apollo's 15, David Scott and James Irwin, Apollo 16, John Young and Charlie Duke, and Apollo 17, Jane Cernan and Jack Smith. Moving on, we have the Popeye impact structure. It is found in northern Siberia, Russia formed 5 million years ago during the late Eocene epoch. This impact created a 100 km diameter crater. The interesting part about this impact is that the shock pressures from the impact instantaneously transformed graphite in the ground into diamonds within a 13.6 km radius of the impact point. These diamonds are around 0.5 to 2 mm in diameter with some as large as 10 mm in size. Last in our list is the Manicouagan Reservoir. Found in central Quebec, Canada, the lake was created by an impact of a 5 km meteorite 214 million years ago during the late Triassic period. The crater is a multiple ring structure around 100 km across with the reservoir at its 70 km diameter in the ring being its most prominent feature. 
the lake has a volume of 137.9 cubic kilometers, where at its center there is a lake island known as Rene Levasseur Island, and its highest point is Mount Bayback. So there we have it, some of the largest craters in the world. If you like what I'm doing, do remember to like and subscribe to the channel. Do comment what type of video you want to see next. See you again in our next video.